Okay, so this is how we're starting off in a cute little room, and I think the char our main character over here is sleeping. I love the sleeping animation of the sheets. Up and down and up and down. It's many dot 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 dots. Oh, we woke up! Embry! Oh, it's morning! Oh, the art style. I have to make breakfast! What, what a responsible young lady! Sir? Boy? Girl? <laughs> non binary? <laughs> <gasps> Our outfit is so cute! Wait, how do we how do we move? A little buddy hanging out with his friend. Oh, okay. How do we um Oh, is this a click thing? Oh cute! Okay. Oh, never mind. I, I found okay, I found the other controls. Alright. What do you got to say about this? An old train set. It isn't as fun to play with as it used to be. Oh, okay. Let's just, uh, go here. My toy box. I try to keep my toys neat. Mom likes when my toys are neat. Aw. What about this? A hamper. There's no use for this anymore. What, what about here? Nothing I need from this drawer. Okay. Uh, it isn't time to go to bed just yet because we literally just got up. Ooh, wait, can we interact with gear? The sunlight shines through the window. Uh, yeah, it's obvious, because the lighting quality is amazing! I love this style! This style is so cute! Ooh, the sound effects are pretty nice. So, what's this? Mom and Dad's room! Uh, they're probably still sleeping in, so we don't want to disturb them. What about this? The bathroom! I don't have to go right now. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I guess we go down here. Da 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 What's this? These plants are plastic. If they weren't, they'd be... Okay. Dad painted this, I think. It's from where he used to live. Oh, He said it would take me... He would take me one day. Okay. That's kind of sweet in a way. Uh, what about here? Nothing I need from this drawer. Okay. What's this way? Oh, okay, sorry. I know that the kitchen was probably back there, but I want to look around and explore some things. Like, first off, why is this door locked? I can't open the door yet. I need to make breakfast first. Oh, okay. What about here? Nothing you need. S can I sit? I mean, I can kind of walk onto it. What about here? At least the books haven't been collecting dust. That's good. Oh, wait, can I interact with this? Dad said he painted this painting. Oh, it almost looks like a face. But it's a butterfly! I don't like it as much as I like the other painting. Alright. Um, this? This is the TV! Why is it propped on the floor, though? Dad set it up for me so that I could watch VHS tapes on days that we were stuck inside, like rainy days. But now that he isn't here, I find it hard to rewind the VH te VHS tapes on my own. I'm scared I might break them. Aww. So, wait, your dad's not around? So is it just your mom? You and your mom? What about this? I like to draw and watch TV at the same time. Multitasking. Maybe one day I can do that again. Oh, okay. Let's go here. Ooh, this is cute. What is this? Nothing I need from the drawer. Okay, can I... I want... Can I interact with the mirror, maybe? No, I want to interact with the mirror, but I guess I can't. Let's go through here. There's nothing I need to go in there in here for. What, what is it? What about this? I can't leave the house right now. I need to feed them first. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Your dad is around? Now I'm confused. So you're making breakfast for your parents. Oh, but that's so sweet. I believe this is the kitchen. It's a bit dusty. How do I clean? I, 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 I want to interact with this. It's the third of the month. O okay. Nothing you need from the cabinet. 
Nothing. Nothing. Wait, has, is the oven on? Let's... Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Well, it, I think it looks on. That's why everything's so dusty. What about this? Dirty dishes have piled in the kitchen sink. Okay, what about this? Still got bread. Just enough. Two slices. You've got bread! Nice! So, what are we gonna do? Is there something in here? We've still got... Yeah, peanut butter! <gasps> You're making a peanut butter sandwich? I thought so. You got peanut butter! Is there anything in the fridge? Oh, there's old, like there's some multiple choices here. So I can look at the drawing or look in the fridge. Let's look at the drawing. This drawing has been on the fridge forever. Oh, it's the family! Eco? Oh, are those the initials? I think, so either the mom or the dad are either G or O, because Embry is the E. Mom and dad told me that all great artists sign their work at the bottom. Oh, no, wait. So, Embry, middle name G, last name O. Ego. What about we uh, take a look-see in the uh, fridge? Good. We haven't run out of jelly yet. <gasps> peanut butter jelly! You got jelly! It peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Oh, no. Why did I get that stuck in my head? Oh, it's so old. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but it'll have to do. A uh, sandwich made! You were like walking on the spot though! <laughs> but we're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market. Shouldn't you ask your mum to, like, help? Because, I mean, you, you oddly seem to be, like, trying to take full responsibility. Or unless are your parents sick and you have to be taking care of everything. But I have to feed them first. Yeah, let's go feed your parents. Let's go, f let's go feed. Go feed your parents. Go feed your parents. Up the stairs we go. Na na da 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 da. What? But I thought you were giving a sandwich to them. Or unless, do I interact and feed whatever's behind the locked door? Is there something in there that needs to eat? Okay. It's breakfast time, you guys. Wait. Have I locked my parents in behind that door? In that room that apparently I can't go in? Re remember the share. Because sharing is caring. Ooh, I love that sound effect though. Mew! Toss the sandwich in. There's a lot of dot dot dots. That does not sound like my parents. All fed. How can you tell? I better go write that grocery list before I forget. Okay. Uh, all right, all written down. I guess we're going to the market today, but what are we going to buy? Can I look at the list? Oh, I can only look at the drawing. All right. Well, off to the market. Time to leave. Oh my goodness! The coloration! I love how we live in a pretty pink house, and everything around us is all dull and gray and gloomy. Aww. Can I interact with the swing? The swing set is broken. I can still swing on the other one. I can't ask anyone to fix it for me. I just hope the other swing doesn't break. I love the wind and the sound effect. Can I interact with this? The water is muddy and still. Uh, okay. Is it the same for this one over here? Yep. Alright, let's go down uh, this way. I like how I'm walking outside in a grey forest wearing slippers. 
Am I still in my pajamas? I should change out. I, I, like, I don't even bother to change out of my clothes. I just like, you know what? I'll just go out in public in my pajamas. Because no biggie. Well, here we are again. I hope Miss Bail... Bailer or Boiler? I think that's an A. So, ba Bail... Bailer? Bailer, I think. So, Miss Bailer. Oh, look at the Marcus. They're so cute. So we got meat, um, flowers, fruits, breads, dairy. Ooh, honey. Honey sells honey. I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with the, the way things are right now. Okay, what about dairy? Mrs. Cast Costello sells milk and other dairy products at her stand. Oh, okay, I guess we're not getting dairy. What about bread? I mean, we just did use up the last of it. Mr. Wilson. Ah, Embry. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? Well, sure. Sure, of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. And some sourdough on the house. You like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, Embers. How is everything? Your, your folks are alright? Oh, yes. They're fine. Well, not fine, but, you know... Ah, right. Well, uh, you know, my kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house, bring over some more bread. Oh. No, no, that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Right, right. Well, just tell them I offered, anyways, okay? Anytime they need it. Right, I will. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. That was an interesting conversation. I feel so apparently Embry is like a regular that always comes to his stand and he, he's just wondering how the parents are. Now I'm really concerned of your parents, Embry. Like what is going on in your household? I just can't get it. I'm also distracted by all the colorful civilians all walking by. They don't have faces, but the people are behind the stand are like shadowy colored i accidentally interacted with stan but at least um because i've already had that dialogue i don't have to go through the repeat all over again so mr wilson sells his freshly baked bread here lovely now i think this stan serves peanut butter and jelly because of the fruit jars lucille i think Ooh, embry you're back good morning good morning lucille I think I hopefully I'm pronouncing names right. If I'm not, I I apologize. Can I have some jelly or uh jam, whichever? You know, normally I'd ask someone to say please, B but you're special. You don't gotta. She sounds a little scared of us. Now I'm a little sus. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I'll get that ready for you. Lickety split. Thank you. So, Embry, this is the third week in a row you came by here dressed like this. Yeah, Lucille's noticed that we're in pajamas. We come to the market in our pajamas in th th for three weeks straight. I like this outfit. You know, if your mom and pa ever need help with laundry, I don't mind. Do you think I smell, Lucille? Oh, no, no, of course not. I just wanted to, you know. It's alright. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. So... Okay, so by the 
description, our parents are probably sick, and I'm, and I've locked them not in their bedroom? There's still some bits and pieces I'm a bit confused about, about why, but I feel like hopefully maybe further along down the line with all the dialogue it might help. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. Let's interact with the flower stand. Aster sells flowers here. Flowers aren't in need, so I don't stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with mom. I feel like the whole color atmosphere mood just says it all. You don't have any today either, do you? We're talking to the meat market? Oh, the meat market stand, I mean. Oh, this is Miss Baylor. So we got bread. Oh, we're getting bread and meat. Afraid not, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. And you know, if I had any spare, I'd give it to ya. Well, the meat business is not blooming at the moment. You really don't have anything? Look, kid, all I got needs to be sold. I got people to feed too, you know? Look, kid, I promise next time I have extra, it's all going to you. Alright. See you later. Be good, kid. Well, that's all I came here for. Mostly, I just got bread. I guess there's, uh... Nothing left to do but to go home. Yeah. Apparently, just market and back. We don't live too far off from the market. I mean, it's just a, like a... It's just a walk through the little forest, but that's okay. It's a bit of questionable why we're kind of... In seclusion or isolation, though. Yeah. Walk on the spot. Walk on the spot. Everything is put away. It's getting dark already. Huh. I'll have to feed them dinner then before it gets too dark. Walk on the spot. Walk on the spot. What are you making for them? I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. So wait, they didn't have lunch? And, they, and for breakfast, they had, like, a small little sandwich between them. They eat more than they used to. But there's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. Embry's talking to themself. I can hardly keep up. Well, dinner's ready. What did you make if you can't use the oven? I guess we'll never know. Anyways, time to feed whatever is in the locked, behind the locked door, or in the locked door. It's dinner time, it's dinner time, it's dinner time. Dinner time! I still love the sound effect. Oh, they're really shaking the house down. Well, dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. Wait, are, I'm questioning, aren't, aren't you supposed to be eating as well? Anyways, good night, uh, mom and dad. I'm off to bed now. La 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 la, sleep. Time to go to bed. Oh, do you see how easy it is? Oh, we got some lovely music. Wait, is this a dream? They grew so quickly. I thought we'd have to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful too. Because as easy it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to wilt and wither away. Without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to wilt. So you must remember to take care of the little thing. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. What? What? what?
I was about to say, oh, that's so sweet. And then all of a sudden, whatever, that imagery just popped up out of nowhere. Like, what happened to the mom? Oh, they're banging on the door. But you locked it, so they can't escape. No, seriously, who's they? They haven't done that in a while. Oh. Yeah, that would be concerning. If there's a different change in behavior. I should check on it. Right? Um. I guess we're gonna go check on it. Oh, I'm scared. The sound effects of me walking out of the bedroom. All right. I'm this. I'm not looking forward for this. Oh, it's shaking. It's really shaking. Quick, barricade the door with something. They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. Well, probably not enough. And I have to try and save as much food as I can. But if they're hungry, I I can't just let them go hungry. Or or else they might they might what? Feed them, go back to bed. Um just go back to bed. I mean that's that's tomorrow's morning's problem. No no. I already fed them. They they can wait until morning. Right? Uh, I I'm going back to bed. The sound effects of the rattling. Alright. I love the animation of the eyes. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. And also do chores today. What chores am I going to do today? Well, clean up your kitchen because it's all dusty looking. I should probably start making lists like mum used to do. I mean, like mum used to. I don't know why I added to do there. But anyways, let's go! Now, I want to check first. Alright, everything's settled down. Have to make them breakfast for today. Good. At least they calmed down for a bit. So how do I make a list? With my drawing? Uh, no, you're... Same dialogue. Okay, I think I have to do- I have to write my list in the kitchen. Uh, breakfast, breakfast. Oh wait, I have to make breakfast first. Duh. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whatever's here. I just got bread yesterday and jelly. Oh, I forgot we did get some jelly. And we still have butter and stuff. Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope it'll be feeling enough that they don't cause a ruckus again. I wonder what would have happened if I fed them last night. But, eh. At least I was kind of like... They kind of calmed down since then. Sometimes you gotta do make the, the hard, hard, tough love choices. It's the... It's the what? Is it the fourth? Or the next day of the third? You're not saying. But let's look in here. Nothing you need from the pantry. What about the fridge? Look in the fridge. I can still look at the drawing. Which is the same. I don't know why I had to look at the drawing all over again, but butter, yeah, I should use it. Oh, so we're gonna make a butter jelly sandwich this time. It's better to feed it to them than to let it go bad. You got butter! Yay! And let's go get some bread. You got bread! I just went shopping, and yet... Yet? <laughs> You're going through all the bread quickly? Well, breakfast is ready again. But, um... There was something else I have to do in here. Uh, was it again? Choreless, right? Was it choreless? Ah, right! Today is the fourth of the month. I almost forgot to write it down. Oh! We were, we were recording... 
Wait, is this going to explain why you're marking it down? It, today marks four months since it happened. So wait, we've been having a lot of time jumps. Right? Four months since the monsters appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Four months that I've been keeping them fed. So they don't eat me. Like they ate them. <gasps> Did the monsters eat your parents? Ooh, I love this animation of you wiping the window. And I love the music. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean. As clean as I can. But I can't clean everything by myself, and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I usually try to clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they're not clean. Mom taught me that. My parents. That night they appeared. The sounds that followed. It sounded like they were eaten. But I, I didn't actually see that happen. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I, I think that maybe they weren't somehow, maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back. I, I don't know. There's a lot of reading in this, which I like. It's all very confusing. I just, uh, what's that saying the adults say? Take it day by day. That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything else will be okay too. There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. I've been reading. Oh, wait! The, the fool just occurred to me just now. Like, how are you getting money then? If your parents mostly do the working, like the job employments and all that, like, how are you getting money? How are you going to pay for these things? A lot. Yes, you've been reading a lot. Also, your eyes. You're very drawn to it. I wish I could be like the kids in these books. What kid? Uh, what, what story are you reading? Are you reading... You can't be reading like Hansel and Gretel, because that involves a witch in a oven, I think, and a sweet's house. Because maybe then I'd know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, knocka knocka. Was it the locked door or the front door? The door again? But this isn't their normal feeding time. No. <gasps> so our parents became the monsters behind the locked door? Um, Embry. Oh, you look scared. Are you there? Yeah, why are you still in that house? You should have just ran away and... Found someone else to live. Mom? Embry, it's okay. Mom, you... I know you must have been so scared. I love the little wavy of the text. But everything is better now. You can open the door. Respond or stay silent. It's probably a trick, so maybe stay silent. Embry, I know you're there. Don't you want to see your mother again? 
I miss you so much. You must have been so lonely without us. Please open the door. Y you're not my mom. All right, kiddo, this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> I really love the text are shaking in different fonts. Like, one was all wavy, and this one's like, <laughs> earthquakey. Open the door before I get mad. I'm gonna stay silent. This is still a trick. I know you're there, Embers. Open up. My dad. My dad doesn't talk to me like that. So, I feel like this monster that we're hiding in the door, behind the door, it can, like, mimic or shapeshift as our parents. Is it done? Embry? Wait, am I saying this to myself? Or is the monster trying to mimic me? Please let me out! I'm tired of this. Well, why do you sound like me? I hate this. And you hate it too, don't you? So why are we still doing this? Just open the door already. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door. You. How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you... really hate yourself this much? Wh what are you talking about? Y you're talking nonsense! Wh what do you want? I'm keeping you fed, isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? I want out! I want out! I want out! Let us out! No. I... I... I need fresh air. Okay, it's okay. Did the color just change? Is it like sunset? Everything is okay. I... You what? I would I I would honestly just not go back in that house whatsoever. Just lock the whole house down and leave. I never heard them talk before. I didn't even think they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. Well, that's bad. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? No, what am I saying? Then you would be a monster too. You would be a monster compared to that monster you ha you're locking away. If I let them go hungry, the only thing they'd have left to eat is... Probably you? But if I keep feeding them the way I am now... No, no. It's going to be, it's going to be okay. I, I will figure something out. And I will and I'll just keep feeding them until I do. But eventually you're going to run out of food and money to pay for food. But speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. You're only feeding them breakfast and dinner? No wonder they get hungry so quickly. And the portion size you're probably giving them is probably not enough. Still curious about this door, though. Nothing you need to go in there for. Okay. I guess that will be the room forever locks and close. That doesn't have the chains on it, like this one. But anyways, let's make some food. What will it be? The same as breakfast? Dinner time again. I just hope they don't try something like they did earlier. By speaking. Alright, let's see. Nothing you need from the pantry. What about the fridge? Let's look into the fridge. There has to be something in here. 
I never ended up touching this cheese wheel. It's kind of heavy. It was supposed to be good, but it's probably collecting mold now. Some people like mold on their cheese, though, right? I'll give it to them. Well, if it's a monster that you're feeding, I'm pretty sure the monsters won't care about the mold. It might be extra sexy flavor for them. But anyways, you got cheese! Is there anything in the... You need... No. Let's try... Here. Nope. Nope. All right. And then, oh, is it going to be cheese and bread? Is it going to be like another sandwich? Is it just mostly the basic easy meal that you can make, which is sandwiches? I know you need nothing from the cabinet. What about the bread? Is it not the bread? Is it only just the cheese? I think it's only just the cheese, maybe. Have a wheel of cheese. They're quiet. I'm not going to announce it's dinner time. I'll just throw it down. Well, they still noticed the food. Uh, how, but honestly, how big was that wheel of cheese? But all right. They're fed, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm going to bed. I'm still questioning, how are you going to bed and getting food for the monster? When you haven't eaten at all, should I be concerned about how you're probably, like, thinning away every moment? Maybe that's why you look so pale and your eyes look very, oh, like, sleepy looking. I told you, it's easy, isn't it? Up, oh, another dream sequence. But this time with our dad. Oh, I'm pretty sure we are a girl by the looks of the bow in the, in the hair. It's fun! Good, that's how it's supposed to feel. Is it just me or does the dad have devil horns? Little baby devil horns, it's cute. Whenever I'm feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. And I know even on my worst days, I can always come back to painting to make it better. Will I ever be as good as, at painting as you are? You could be, you could be whatever you want. Oh, you can be. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> really? I mean, really? Mm-hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in. So your painting doesn't end up ruined. Uh, um, wait, what do those paintings mean? Those paintings were probably a clue, and they flashed so quickly I didn't have the time to look at them properly. Oh, they're getting restless. They're banging on the door again. This is the second night in a row. Are they still mad? Are we really going to check up on them? No, just go back to bed. Go back to bed. I can't go back to bed until I've checked downstairs. Okay, fine. I swear, you should have barricaded the door with furniture. But I know you're probably not strong enough to do it all by yourself. In a way, the rattling sounds very groovy. Like you can just dance to it. Bam, ba da da, bam, ba da da, bam, ba da da, da na na na. You can almost make your own rhythm. What am I supposed to do? I know food isn't the only thing they want now, but food also calms them down. I, I need them to be calm, but with the amount they already eat, what am I going to do? Go back to bed. Whatever. I can't. Yeah, you are... You're on a very limited food budget. I can't just give it to them. And besides, they'll come down after their little temper tantrum. I'll pretend I'll slept, I slept through this. I I'm going back to bed. I feel like one of these choices is going to nip me in the booty. Huh, never mind, they just calm down. It's morning. 
I have to make breakfast. How much food is left anyways? I might have to go back to the market later. Maybe there will be meat today. I think it's what keeps them the most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. Well, can I check to make sure that the door is not broken off? Because, I mean, if they're getting stronger... Okay, we're still good. Okay, let's go in the kitchen. And let's... We're get definitely getting some bread. What? We're out of bread? Is there anything in the fridge? Nothing in the fridge? Oh, wait, we gotta jot something down, right? It's the fifth of the month of the incident. Uh, I usually try to avoid giving them cereal, but it's because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them the box. All the boxes. We really have run low. We really have run this low, haven't we? I was just at the market, and each visit is closer together than the last. There. What's that thing? The thing Dad would say? Eating me out of house and home? I don't get that. <laughs> well, I've got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this isn't enough for breakfast to begin with. Oh, I hope this is enough for breakfast. You got cereal! Yay! Let's go feed the monsters behind the locked door with some cereal boxes and maybe some cereal crunches. Here we go again. Even though it's just cereal, well, all of it together should at least be enough for breakfast. And yeet! <coughs> it's fine, it's fine. They seem fine with it. I better head out now then to make sure I have enough for dinner. And hopefully we have some meat. We get some meat. What kind of meat would we get though? We shall wait and see. Back again. I have to talk to Miss Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it I get to it before anyone else. I'll beg her for it if I have to. Please, Miss Baylor. I'll take anything. Alrighty. Well before I I'm gonna dawdle a bit and just check out the stands if there's any new dialogue. Honey sells honey. I like honey. Okay, you're same thing. Yep. Same thing. Uh, bread? Alright. Jam? Okay. This? Okay. Alright, same dialogues. I guess it is m meat immediately and first thing. Miss Baylor? Embry, good morning! Oh, you seem pretty happy today. Yeah, because the other day you were pretty up... You sounded a bit upset. <laughs> Does it show on my face? I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Good news? For me? Does that mean you have meat today? Oh, <laughs> no, not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh. Well, what is it then? Well, you see, there's a traveling doctor visiting town today. D doctor? I hear he's quite well known. Supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents. So maybe he can. Y yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try and find him later then. Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talking to Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. I'll be watching from here. Go on. Go introduce yourself. R right. Well, if there's no meat, I am probably doomed. But... What did he just appeared out of nowhere and like poof ninja but I like how you it's all highlighted in white the like the outline huh hello 
Ah, Embry, you're just in time. I'm sure Miss Baylor has already told you, but this is Dr. D. Light. <laughs> Delight. Delightful. <laughs> Delight? The one and only. Ah, I, lo I, I love the music changing. It's amazing. Oh, but I love the happy little mask. It's so cute. I'm not going to lie. He does look like a, almost like he can pull off as a priest or a pope with that outfit. Maybe just tweak some things here and there. And I'm quite a delight, if I do say so myself. Ha 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 So, you're Embry. Folks around here were telling me that you needed some help. It's quite nice to meet you. You're a doctor? Indeedly so. You look like a clown. Well, Embry, hey now! A clown? I mean, yeah, with like the Harlequin eye flower blotches around your little mask there. Oh no, that's makeup. Because your eyes just close. Oh, I certainly hope I'm a funny one then. Aw, he has a really great sense of humor. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce Delight to your parents? If anyone can help them, he should be able to. Yeah. Right. I will do my best to assist. Go on then. Lead the way. Oh my goodness, look at us walking together. Okay, we're taking him home. We didn't... We, we apparently left the market to get food, but we came back with a person. So, this is the way to your house? Yeah, it's a long, twisty road through the forest. Quite the thickest to walk through. Um, Mr. Delight? Uh, uh, it's Doctor. I mean, uh, uh. Right. I didn't want to say it in front of everyone else, but you should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family's been going through, we can fix it. Uh, I'm not sure about, like, if I introduce you to the locked door, that is. But let's go. Are we really going to have little short walks and a lot of dialogue? Uh, Embry, you go to the market all by yourself? Yes. Is that an issue? Oh, I just, well, it seems like a long way for a child to walk all by themselves, that's all. I'm used to it now. Yeah, like, I would be concerned, like, where is your parents? Like, why do they let you walk to the market yourselves, by yourself? So, Ambry, what do you like to do? Wh what do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stains on your apron seem to hint at it. I'm quite the artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. P pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Hmm, nothing. I see. Alright. Can you stop with the duck? Oh, this is gonna take forever. Well, while we're still on our way, why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, if I'm treating them, I should know about them, shouldn't I? Yeah, like, I... He's asking all these questions, trying to get to know me. Um, well, do you know what's afflicted them? Hmm, your parents. I've been told they're very sick. So sick they can't leave the house. But you, you seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies if asking made you uncomfortable. All right, let's keep good walking. Let's keep walking, Doctor Delight. Mwah! You know your walk. You know this walk isn't actually so bad. Yeah, it's good exercise. It's nice to just stroll through nature every now and then, now and again. I guess. Still, though, it surprises me you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared of any monsters coming out to get you in the woods. Uh, well, actually, because I have monsters in my locked in a ha in my house. 
well not in my whole house that locked in a room in my, in my house Embry are you all right huh no sorry it just looks like I upset you I'm okay let's keep walking now stop for no more stopping for dialogue <laughs> Okay, Delay, you are really starting to get on my nerves. Don't worry. Hmm? You seem like you're under a lot of stress. A child with parents so sick the child has become their caretaker? That must be so difficult. Please, don't, do not worry. I will do all I can to return you to a normal life. Uh, yes, yeah, shut up. <laughs> eh? I told you you can't help me. You should just go. Well, can I at least try? Nah. -uh. Because you, you have been warned many, many times. You really still want to see them? I do. Here we are. Your house seems nice. Very cozy. Yeah, sure. Let me take you through the store. What's this room? This? This leads to the dining room. <gasps> That's the di- I want to see the dining room. Mom always hated it because it's so far from the kitchen. She was going to switch the furniture around, but... Yeah. Well, why would you put the dining room right very close to the front entrance, though? That doesn't make any sense. Do I go to this door here? Uh, oh my! Quite the heavily locked door! I mean, yeah, it was pretty obvious. I'm surprised it didn't auto-trigger when I walked into the room. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Embry? Huh? Are they in there? Yeah, because I don't think that the parents will be in the room because I've never been in there. I've there was no response or anything. Like I'm not knocking and being like, "Oh, hello, you're hungry" or something. I think like the parents' bedroom is just e barely empty because I think the parents are the monsters in the basement. I honestly don't know anymore. It's <sighs> scrambling my brain. This game is really messy with my head, and I love it. Does the silence say it all, Embry? Can we open the door? What? No! Hey, 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 it's all right. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? I, I don't know what's down there, but whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Well, technically, Embry would open the door for every few seconds just to toss down food. So, d like, Embry, you, see, I told you that you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. Very optimistic, this delight, Doctor. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? I believe that would be a yes. I love the facial changes. Okay. I will open the door. I just... Ah! Something the matter? My key is gone! <gasps> I, I'm sorry, how did you lose your key? That's... I always keep it on me. Did you drop it out somewhere outside your house? Like, did you drop it along the walk in the woods? Because I don't think you would have dropped the key behind the locked door with the monsters. Because otherwise the monsters can use that against you and escape. Did I drop it at the market or something? You dropped... Oh, but then someone in the street will find it and be like, Oh, random key. Don't know what to do with it, but key. Did you bring it to the market? I like how he even says that, even with a smile on his face. I, maybe? 
I don't know. I don't remember. Why don't we look around for it here, then? I love the little winky and the finger. We can check the market after we're sure it isn't here. I'm sure one of the stall owners would have said something if they saw you drop it. Anyways. Oh, would have saw you dropped it anyways. Well, that's a good point. Let's look around then, I guess. Alright, let's see. Could it be by the door? There's a lot of dirty dishes here. Do you need help with this? No, it's fine. I don't really use the dishes anymore, so... Okay, bread... Bread box? How cute! Yeah, they had this since I was born. Uh, since before I was born. Oh my, you've got a big brother bread box then! <laughs> um, uh, what? <laughs> Your oven is in good condition, I guess. I don't really touch it. That's good. Anything in the fri- no, fridge. You must have drawn this picture on the fridge, yes? Yeah, I did, but it was forever ago. So let's see, here. This is you in the middle and your parents on both sides. Yeah, that's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. Okay. Uh, quite the tall pantry, but it seems rather empty. Yeah. Uh, calendar? You keep track of the days? Yeah, don't most people? Well, yes, but you do it all by yourself? How do you know? These dates are marked off in crayon. <laughs> okay. Anything here? Alright. Maybe, um, we can... Mmm... Wait, I haven't really checked this. What? Nothing of note in here. Okay. What? Is he going to talk about the painting? This is such a lovely painting. My dad painted it. Quite the talented sir, I must say. Yep. What's he going to talk about the plant? What a lovely plant! It isn't real. That doesn't make any... Uh, that doesn't make it any less nice. Alright. Let's try... Go upstairs. Let's try... Bathroom? What's this room? Bathroom. Do you have to go? Oh no, but thank you for asking. Okay. And then let's try this door, because we automatically already went to the locked door. Which had that long dialogue with the monsters, or the parents, in his case. What's this room? Mom and Dad's room. Well, where it used to be. I see. Alright, let's try the bedroom then. Let's try here. There's not a lot of clothes in here. Yeah, it's easier just to stay in this. Oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? And what about when you need to shower? I just wash my clothes during my shower. What, you shower with your clothes on, Embry? Is that what you're trying to say? I, I see. Alright, let's try here. Okay, bed. Oh, you make your bed every morning? That's a good habit to practice. I guess. Toys? What's this? A little buddy hanging out with his friend. Um, window? Wow, look at this. You have quite the view from your room. I must say, I'm a bit jealous. Really? I don't think there's much to look at. Uh, train set? Oh my, a train set! Have you ever seen a train in real life before? No. Have you? Many times! I use them to get around quite often. I see. Um, are they cool? Yes, they are very cool. I've been on that train in, in real life. What the? Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I did. So we left it in the toy box the whole time? I guess we're just losing it. But this doesn't make any sense. I never put the key in here before. I don't even remember. Well, I suppose it's good you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, let's go to the locked door. Locked door to the room that I don't know what it is yet. Alright, opening the door now. The sound effect of opening the door. Seems like quite the long way down. What do you mean? Are they like stairs? Is there a light switch? It's at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, oh. But, uh... I think the light's burnt out anyways. Well, how can you assume that if you don't even go... 
down those stairs into the darkness. And I'm probably just being a derb and not thinking that it's just that it's a basement the whole time. Because on like I know for mo for moderate of houses you you have stairs that take you down into the basement. Well, in personally for me I don't have a basement. So no monsters for moi. But I see. Sorry, I should not get distracted. Well, let's go on then. What? What? Oh, sh uh, Embry's getting really nervous. <laughs> it's just walking on spot and Dr. Delight is smiling, bobbing his head. He he's kind of a little creepy. Um, I said we can open the door. Yeah, how long have you opened the door? You know the monster can use that opportunity to get to make a getaway while you're just both standing there talking. I didn't say you could go down. Uh, what do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No! You can't! Uh, Embry, let go! Wait, are we, are we holding on to Dr. Delight? No! P please, let me... <gasps> Oh. 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 Did we just commit a murder? We just... I think we did. <laughs> we just murdered a doctor! We murdered Dr. Delight! Oh, he was a delight. A little... Uh, he did grind me the wrong way. What? I mean, he did rub me off the wrong way, but... Still, he was such a delight with his positive attitude. Are we going insane? <laughs> Explosive fruit jam. Well, hope I guess technically, it, I did bring deliver meat to the monsters. This is really... <laughs> Poor Embry has a... It's probably traumatized for life now. Look at that. It's time for bed already. We're just gonna go to bed like <laughs> nothing else has ever happened. Like, what? Like, uh, let's pretend that didn't happen. Uh, ooh, for a fruit jam. Uh, I think... Or spilled red paint. Oh, whatever. I'll deal with it tomorrow. La 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 la, let's go to bed like nothing else happened. Nobody followed me home to ask about my parents. La 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 sleep. What? What happened? <gasps> Wait, did we lock the door? That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. Well, how can it be louder? We just gave... We gave the monster a person, which in technicality, that's meat. So I, I thought it would satisfy the monster. As terrible as that sounds. Or what if it broke free? <gasps> I broke free! I got it! What are you doing, Embry? Just... The basement door is open. So the whole time, the room with the stairs... Was the basement. Oh, well, I'm a derp. I didn't. I should have already knew. I should have already known about it because the, literally the game. This game is called It's Not Me, It's My Basement. And obviously, there are stairs that lead you down to the basement. And of course, Embry looks so freaked out right now. Embry, call help or just get out of there. Can I move? Hold on, dialogue first. I, I didn't open it. I, I definitely locked it before I went to bed. The monster became too strong. So how is it that? What do I do? Go downstairs and go back to bed. No, go back to bed. <laughs> I I can't. I can't. I can't, 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 I can't. Oh my goodness, you're going to say I can't many times. I mean, you'd never be... You, you, you're too scared to go down there in the first place, so let's just... Let's just... I mean, why go back to bed? Get... Honestly, in that scenario, you would just get out of the house. 
find like hopefully find someone you can trust to stay with. I I'll just it'll be okay. I just need to go back to bed. <laughs> no, everything's not gonna be okay because by the time you go to bed, something's gonna happen. <gasps> I can feel it. 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 Uh oh. <sighs> Okay, did you lock your door? My door is firmly shut. That That's fine. Right? I should check that there's nothing under my bed, right? You've never checked under your bed before, but I guess now that the monster's free, you're worried that- <gasps> Oh, and you probably shut yourself in the room with it. Oh no, I'll- I'll just take a quick peek. <laughs> I'm scared. WHAT?! The, 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 there was something in the box. I think. I could have sworn I saw something. Well, thank goodness. Nothing under the bed. Bedtime, then! I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Embry? Hello? What? What? Ha! Ha! How? What? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm, but I'm pretty sure we accidentally pushed you into the down the stairs in the basement to get eaten by the monster. How are you unharmed? Is this a is it illusion? Is this a trick? Is this the is the monster mimicking the Doctor Delight? Ambry? Doctor D? What are you doing up here? I thought. You! Ambry? What's wrong? Oh, the monster! I, the, the face is peeling off! I'm moving. You can see a little line of detail. There's a demon face under the mask. The dark? You? I? You what? You really should tell me what's wrong, you know. How am I supposed to help you otherwise? Uh, uh, what's that? Ah, I see. It must be because... I tried, and I oofed. Oh no, the face is gonna fall all the way off, and I'm gonna see the demon face. I can see it now. I can see a crack. That's what happened. I, well, there's no helping it now, is there? I tried, and I oofed. I tried, and I oofed, and that's because of you. Dr. D, I, I'm so sorry. I tried to stop you, but, but you j just kept go. Excuse me, kept going? Well, I had to, didn't I? Nothing ever would have changed if I didn't. So I kept going. And look where that got me. Oh, I'm not really looking forward to your seeing your monstrous demon face. <laughs> I just wanted to help you, and you didn't want that. Why is that? Is it because you feel helpless, or is it because you know? Help is only going to make it worse. That, that's it, isn't it? Oh, the smile in the eyes. I'm not looking forward to it. I just want the mask. I just keep the mask on. But also, does that... Why does your skin look like brain? Help will make it worse. Because once you get help, there's no longer an excuse as to why th this is happening to you. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to look at the imposter doc uh, Dr. Delight. I'm just going to look at the text. Oh, he fixed it. Never mind. Oh, I'm sorry, my mask was slipping. So, now I feel compelled to ask, was it worth it? Was my life worth that excuse? Uh, did it shuffle a bit? I would sure hope so. For your sake, at least. It's too late for me now. It's now, it's now moving slowly by one inch. It's like a couple inches. Uh, who else will you sacrifice to save yourself? They may not be as forgiving as me, but maybe that's what you're looking for, after all. Oh, no, I'm not looking at you now. I'm not looking at you now. I'm only looking at a dialogue. And I'm not, I don't want to see a blank face. Then you can say they deserve this. Deserve what? <gasps> what?! That was a nightmare. Um. J 
Just a nightmare. <laughs> but it's gone on long enough. So what are you going to do now? Are you going to pluck up the courage, go to the basement? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, off we go. Into the basement. Hello? Are we going to see what's in the basement? We don't get to see! Thank you for playing. So the whole time we, we don't get to see what was in the basement? The monster in the basement? Alright, we're back at the choice to go downstairs or back to bed. So you know what? Go downstairs, straight away! Basement party! And plus, I really want to see what monsters are you hiding in the basement. Because I didn't get to see them in, the, in my other choice. Where I just keep going off to bed every time. And then probably had that dream, nightmare, hallucination of uh, the Dr. Delight. And then you went into the basement. And then it ended there. So I have no idea what the monster looked like. So I, I have no choice. Go inside the basement. I have to go down there. Try for not! Because if I don't, bad things can happen. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yep, we're going in. I'm also curious about what the basement looks like now. Wow, that's a lot of stairs. How did you manage to throw all her food all the way down this long flight of stairs? Especially Dr. Delight, when he fell. Wouldn't that be like Fruit James Saints? When he was going boink, 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 boink. Oh, but he probably, like, dislocated body parts. And probably offed halfway during the fall down the stairs. But anyways, let's go! <laughs> Insanely long flight of stairs. How, did you how could you throw all that food all the way down here? Honestly, your basement is like a maze. I thought it would just be one big square. How, how did the monsters respond to you? Uh, how did they sense there was food? Oh, the for jam is everywhere. Did I make a mistake of coming here? But at the same time, I was curious about what the basement looked like. So many crate boxes. And it's very twisty and turny. Are the monsters invisible? Is Dr. Delight haunting me? Maybe. Brew Jam, staying? Appear! Oh, there we go. I thought I was late, but nope, I was a bit too early. No, actually, I would say right on top. Is that me? Wait, the twist is I was the monster the whole time? Or is that the twin? Am I a twin? Your Embry? Wait, that's the name Your? You why do you look like you look surprised? I don't see why. I thought by now you'd realize you and I are one in the same. No, that's not that can't be right. It can't? Why can't it be? Oh, that's right. It's because you think we're a monster. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. We're monsters, but you're not. Is that right? How does that make sense? How does this twist make sense to me? Did we, like, did we hurt the parents? Are we insane? You're not a monster. You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he, he, he stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? 
The eyes are really starting to bug out. <laughs> uh. You opened the door and then begged him not to look inside. Well, Dr. Delight just kept persisting. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have even seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he wouldn't have been here to begin with if you weren't such a... Monster. That's a big grin. It's starting to get a little unsettling. Are your, are, you, are your pupils gonna, like, bug out? Are you, like, your eyes gonna bug out? Your teeth gonna change? Are you gonna do, like, some type of head tilt? I'm waiting for what monstrous form you would think of. Uh, why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry. What are you going to do with yourself? W what have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding. And for what? I think you feed me, because you like it. It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feed me, and then you feel better. You feel safe. Nothing is coming to hurt you. Ooh, lights dimmed. Now this is getting spooks. And, and you know, the funny thing about that is... Day after day, despite how much you've been feeding me... Ooh, this is getting creepy. I'm still hungry. Oh no! <sighs> what kind of... What? You ate me? Is this the same thing now? Just... But, was that... Wait. Is it gonna end the same way? Just a nightmare. But it's gone on long enough. Wait, the dream... S so wait. No matter which choice I made, the dream sequence will be a little different, but the ending will be the same. Right? Like, I'll just go in there. Like, I'll open the door, I'll walk in, and then the credits will roll. Yep, that's it. So no matter which choice I pick, the nightmare sequence will be different, but the ending will always tie in the same. At least we got to see the basement.